please rise for the entrance of the graduating class of 2010, led by our outstanding faculty. It is a tradition here at the University of Idaho for our faculty to greet the graduates as they enter the commencement ceremony. Please welcome the Colleges of the University of Idaho, the College of Graduate Studies, leading the university's research and creative activities at the graduate level is the College of Graduate Studies. Formalized in 1925, the college encompasses all graduate programs within the university and administers all university-wide interdisciplinary graduate level programs. Graduate College offers 93 master's degrees from accounting to water resources, four specialty areas of education, and doctoral degrees in 31 disciplines. The college is responsible for, responsible for university-wide excellence in graduate education and training and serves more than 2,200 graduate and professional students at five locations statewide. In 2009, the University of Idaho College of Law celebrated a century of excellence in legal education. For more than 100 years, Idaho's College of Law has emerged as a top law school in the region and a best educational value in the nation, with a strong legacy that includes state and national leaders in business, law, and public service. College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Founded in 1901, the college boasts 17 undergraduate majors and 15 graduate programs. From child development to agribusiness, from plant science to animal science to food science, the college received more than $32 million in research last year. The college operates research and extension centers throughout Idaho to, the, to, to deliver educational programs to improve the lives of residents. Researchers are improving commercial aquaculture production and diversity and assisting public fisheries in the recovery of endangered fish species through the methods of sustainable aquaculture research project. Last year, the college received a National Science Foundation funded integrative graduate education research and traineeship grant of more than $2 million to be implemented in cooperation with the College of Natural Resources and Tropical Agriculture Research and Higher Education Center in Costa Rica. The College of Art and Architecture. Originally dedicated in 1981, the College of Art and Architecture offers degrees that include interior design, landscape architecture, art and design, and virtual technology and design. Its vision is to be the school of choice for transdisciplinary, community-influenced education with a focus on cultural and environmental stewardship. Professor of Art David Geese is a recipient of the 2000, 2010 Governor's Award for Excellence in the Arts. The College of Business and Economics. Like the university, the College of Business and Economics has a rich history of producing thinkers and global citizens who are leading Idaho, the Northwest, the nation, and beyond. Established in 1925, the College of Business and Economics attracts 1,300 students to their programs in seven disciplines and a Master's of Accountancy. The college now offers an Executive Master of Business Administration degree in Northern Idaho. The College of Business and Economics also hosts one of only 19 accredited professional golf management programs in the country. The College of Education. College of Education students and Idaho alumni have made significant contributions to our state and nation 
for over 100 years. Education programs at Idaho began in the early 1900s and the College of Education was formally established in 1920. The college offers eight undergraduate programs and 10 graduate programs. Its 61 faculty members teach programs in Moscow, Coeur d'Alene, and Boise. The College of Education offers the only four-year dance program and the only accredited recreation program in the state of Idaho. The college is one of the few in the nation that has a program to help teachers pursue their national board certification, the highest symbol of professional teaching excellence. The college youth's graduate programs are ranked in the top 100 in the nation. The College of Engineering. With 78 tenure or tenure track faculty, the college invests more than $15 million a year on research in the fields of microelectronics, transportation, robotics, computer security, energy, and electronic packaging. Leading our state and region since 1907, the College of Engineering is internationally recognized as a pioneer in the research and development of biodiesel. A team of undergraduate and graduate engineering students has designed a new power system for the Taylor Wilderness Research Station, set in the rugged heart of the Payette Forest Frank Church River of No Return area. The College of Engineering, in collaboration with the Center for Advanced Energy Studies and Idaho National Laboratory, will play a vital role in the research and training of engineers, technicians, and other workers needed in the field of nuclear energy and the development of advanced materials for the next generation of power plants. The College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences. The College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences is the largest academic division of the University of Idaho with nearly 4,000 students in 11 departments and numerous programs. The college provides students with a foundation in the liberal arts and in doing so, prepares students to confront the challenges of a changing social, cultural, and political world and to respond with informed and creative solutions. Kathy Stefanik, a music teacher in Grangeville, graduates today with a master's degree in music education. The Lionel Hampton School of Music's new hybrid online summer program allowed her to complete her degree while continuing to teach. Journalism and mass media students produce a weekly television program called Inside the Vandals, which is telecast on television stations and cable systems all over Idaho. Shows produced by the students were also aired on ESPN. Aaron Fawcett, a senior anthropology major, spent his summer working on an archaeological and public outre outreach project in the Caribbean. Heather Newman, a student in the Department of Psychology and Communication Studies, is a McNair Scholar. She is working with Professor Ernesto Bustamante to develop statistical decision-making software. Alejandra Lopez, an International Studies major, has been a cornerstone of service learning and volunteerism while at the university. She led numerous alternative service break teams, and she was the first University of Idaho student to spend an entire semester on a service learning endeavor in Mississippi. Upon graduating, theater arts major Kristen Nagel will be doing an internship with Disneyland as a management and venue supervisor. David Gray Adler was hired as the director of the McClure Center for Public Policy Research. The center promotes informed, knowledgeable public policy decisions on critical issues. The College of Natural Resources. In September 2009, the college reached a landmark anniversary that recognized 100 years of natural resources education. College of Natural Resources programs benefit state, national, and international communities through innovative knowledge, technology, and leadership. 
Today, the college's 58 faculty and supporting staff prepare future leaders through a wide spectrum of hands-on and service learning opportunities that address contemporary natural resource issues. Students may choose a degree from eight undergraduate programs as well as master's and doctoral degrees. CNR Range faculty are participating with six other universities on a nearly $1 million project funded by the USDA Higher, Edu Higher Education Grant Challenge Program to revitalize rangeland education nationwide. The College of Science, established in 2002, the College of Science offers an astonishing range of programs including the reproductive biology of fishes, evolution, ecology, neuroscience, geographic information systems, global climate change, nanoscience, and bioinformatics. The college offers bachelor degrees in biology, chemistry, geography, geology, mathematics, and physics. A master's degree is offered in nine disciplines and doctoral degrees in six areas of study. Mathematics faculty are developing technology and tools to bring high-level mathematics courses to rural high school students in Idaho through the Gateway to Calculus project. Curious Chemistry is a chemistry demonstration show put on by both graduate and undergraduate students for the local community, aimed at children and their families. <music> Professor of Agriculture Economics Stephen Devados received the West Regional Teaching Award from the Association of Public and Land Grant Universities this fall. Devados has been a faculty member in the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences since 1992 and is the third CALS faculty member since 1997 to win the teaching award. Professor of Forest Resources Gary Macklis serves as science advisor to the director of the National Park Service and is leading an effort to gauge the long-term impacts of the deep water horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Malcolm N. Renfrew, Professor Emeritus of Chemistry, marked his 100th birthday this fall with a rededication of Renfrew Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, the Platform Party. Doug Adams, Platform Party Marshal. Don Burnett, Dean of the College of Law, Dom Blackadder, Dean of the College of Engineering, Kurt Kriegitzer, Dean of the College of Natural Resources, Nilsa Bosk Perez, Dean of the College of Graduate Studies, Mark Hoverston, Dean of the College of Art and Architecture, John Hamill, Dean of the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Kathy Aiken, Dean of the College of Letters, Arts and Social Sciences, Corey Mantle Bromley, Dean of the College of Education, Lynn Baird, Dean of Libraries, Jack Morris, Dean of the College of Business and Economics, Jean Christiansen, Vice Provost for Academic Affairs, Richard Reardon, Interim Associate Vice President for Northern Idaho, Laura Keyes, President of the Student Bar, Steve Nyheisel, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management, Justin Horn, President of the Graduate Professional Student Association, Mark Edwards, Assistant to the President for Diversity, Equity, and Community. Stephen Parrott, President of the Associated Students of the University of Idaho. Carmen Suarez, Director of Human Rights, Access, and Inclusion. Bruce Pittman, Vice Provost and Dean of Students. Kent Nelson, General Counsel. Nancy Crow, Registrar. Keith Ickes, Executive Director of Planning and Budgeting. Steve Johnson, Director of Alumni Relations. Jack McIver, Vice President for Research and Economic Development. Shirley Ringo, State Representative. Rob Spear, Athletics Director. Tom Trail, State Representative. Lloyd Muse, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Lorraine Enlow, Faculty Senate Commencement Committee Chair. Chris Murray, Vice President for Advancement. Captain Greg Eaton, United States Navy. Scott Wood, Dean of the College of Science and Commencement Speaker. 
Regent Don Saltman. Doug Baker, Provost and Executive Vice President. Dan Eveleth, Chair of the Faculty Senate and Mace Bear. And M. Dwayne Nellis, the 17th President of the University of Idaho. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the officer candidates of 2010, led by the Combined Forces Color Guard, followed by the singing of the National Anthem. Please be seated. Uh, good afternoon and uh, welcome to the University of Idaho 2010 Winter Graduation Ceremony. Please join me in welcoming uh, University of Idaho President M. Duane Nellis to the podium. Thank you.
Thank you to our faculty senate chair, Dr. Dan Eveleth, for opening our commencement ceremony today. We're grateful for your continuing service to our university community. Thank you to our, also to our university wind ensemble conducted by Tori Lawrence, as well as our vocalist for the national anthem, Kyle Rushtabaki. Let's give them a round of applause. And of course, thanks also to Idaho's Army, Navy, and Air Force ROTC cadets who made up our Joint Service Honor Guard today. And let's also give them a round of applause. And thank you to our marshals for the leadership of Dr. Mickey Gunter, lead marshal for our exercises today. And thank you to Dr. Doug Adams, who returned to this ceremony to inaugurate the new Marshall's Baton created by local artist Jim Christiansen. Doug, thank you again for your many years of teaching, research, service, and on behalf of, the, of a grateful university, we appreciate so much all that you've done. Let's give these people a round of applause. A special welcome to our guests, Regent Don Saltman, State Representative Tom Trail, State Representative Shirley Ringo, our deans, faculty, honored guests, parents and families, we thank you for joining us for this very special day. Today we recognize another great day at the University of Idaho, the day when 745 of our students will see their long labor, labors rewarded with the recognition that they have run the course to win, and they have won that race towards their diploma. This is a remarkable achievement, and perhaps getting more remarkable. Indicators suggest that the number of those receiving a post-secondary degree here in the United States is beginning to decline. And in fact, earlier this year, a college board report showed that the United States has dropped from being number one in the world for its percentage of college graduates to 12th. That makes their completion even more important for them and for our nation as the need for higher education grows as the workplace transforms. Today we gather together as a community in recognition of the success of each of our graduates, their families, their professors, and all who have invested in them. It has been quite a journey, but this is only the beginning. Tremendous opportunities lie ahead. They will undoubtedly be leaders in many roles, leaders who invest in the future. The university has come a long way since our first graduating class in 1896 when we had four students. Our students have led and continue to lead in areas like the sciences, in art, in government, in education, in business, engineering, and elsewhere. We see this proud tradition continuing with each new class each new wave of leaders leaving here to make a difference in our world. To our graduates, a heartfelt congratulations and best wishes for your future. Indeed, the completion of your degree and the successes you will enjoy as a result of your efforts is truly something to celebrate. Well done. Let's give them a round of applause. There is nothing more important here at the University of Idaho than the success of our students. As a university, we take great pride in providing an outstanding campus environment, engaged learning opportunities, and personal support that these graduates have needed to realize their dreams and earn their degrees today. We take great pride, great pride, in our close-knit Vandal community. I call it a Vandal family. To the graduates' families and friends, you are all part of that community or Vandal family. Speaking for the graduates, faculty, and staff, I want you to know that we are grateful for the support throughout the years that these students have been part of our Vandal family. This ceremony today is also about you. On behalf of the university and these students, I'd like to recognize the work that you've done in making this moment possible. Let's give them a round of applause as a thank you for their support. Class of 2010, our job as a 21st century land-grant university is to help Idaho and the na nation to succeed 
by helping you, our graduates, succeed. And now, as soon-to-be graduates of this great university, success and leadership will be your hallmarks. Your degree and experience, uh, ex your, your degree and experience empower you to extraordinary levels of success. You are ready to engage in a complex global economy and to be successful. Don't shirk from your duties and don't miss the opportunities that are presented to you. As you journey on, I encourage you to stay engaged with us. Consider investing in the future yourself by investing in other young people who will follow in your footsteps. Although you may face challenges in a down economic time, you can shape your own destiny. As the leaders and the promise of the future, you have the energy and the knowledge to create jobs as well as to succeed in them. And with your innovation, your leadership, your inspiration, I believe there's no stronger future for all of us. Seated behind me today are many of our university senior leaders. Members of the platform party, please rise. I'd like to thank our leadership team for their dedication to our students of this great institution. Ladies and gentlemen, the platform party. Please be seated. It is a privilege today that we have one of our regents with us, Don Saltman. He's a member of our State Board of Education and the University of Idaho Board of Regents. And I'd like to ask him to please come forward to bring greetings to our graduate. Ladies and gentlemen, Regent Don Saltman. Thank you, Dr. Nellis. On behalf of the Regents of the University of Idaho and the State Board of Education, I congratulate all of you and your families. We are very proud of your achievements and wish you uh, continued success in your careers in the future. Thank you again, Don, for being with us today and bringing greetings to this class of December 2010. When we talk about the University of Idaho's legacy of leading, it means several things, including how well we have prepared you and how you take that education and transform the world around you. As a 21st century land-grant university, we excel in the sciences. We continue to produce inv inventions and innovations that have worldwide impact. A key component in our success in this arena is the College of Science. As the Dean of the College of Science, Dr. Scott Wood helps lead our university in answering the questions of today and preparing minds for the future. As a Princeton-educated geochemist, Professor Woods comes to the university, he came to the university, I should say, in 1992. Professor Wood is an internationally recognized authority in geochemistry and economic geology. He's applied his talents to many projects to include interdisciplinary studies concerning the environment, and he's worked with the Oak Ridge National Laboratory and the Los Alamos National Laboratory. He became Associate Dean of the College of Science in 2006 and was awarded the Distinguished Service Award by the American Chemical Society. In 2007, he was named Dean of the College of Science. As Dean of this very important college, Scott has been leading the charge to increase enrollment and successful graduation from the STEM areas, science, technology, and math. Further, many of the foundational classes for engineering are also found in the College of Science. The students in these fields are some of the most prepared individuals to deal with the increasing com complex and technical world in which we live. Dean Wood has also been instrumental in helping his faculty increase their success in secure, securing competitive research funding. In one National Science Foundation grant alone, the college brought in a five-year grant worth $15 million. Under his leadership, the College of Science continues to be a leader in both state in the state in both the quality of education and in research. I appreciate his enthusiasm and his commitment to all that makes this a better university, a better state, and a better nation. Please join me in welcoming our 2010 winter commencement speaker, Dr. Scott Wood.
Thank you, Dr. Nellis. President Nellis, Provost Baker, Regents, member of the platform, members of the platform party. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Let me first take this opportunity to congratulate all of you graduates for reaching this important milestone. I would also like to congratulate and thank all of the parents, relatives, friends, faculty, and staff who supported you and helped make this day possible. Now I know what some of you out there might be thinking. The Dean of Science is a commencement speaker. He's probably going to try to dazzle us with some esoteric bit of mathematics or expound upon the beauty of some new scientific theory. And I know that some members of the platform party may be wondering whether I have a guitar under this robe and which one of them I am going to lampoon via song. But this afternoon, I will neither blind you with science nor offend your ears with musical parody. However, I will do something a little bit different. Most commencement speakers take this opportunity to urge graduates to embrace success. I will use my time at the podium today to urge you to embrace failure. That's right. That wasn't a malfunction of the earbuds of your iPod. That wasn't that little nip from a hip flask talking. I said I'm going to extol the virtues of failure. To be sure, many forms of failure represent little of value. There is no virtue whatsoever in failure that comes about as a result of sloth, or apathy, or stupidity, or lack of preparation, or despair. Moreover, if lives hang in the balance, as was in the case of the rescue of the crew members of the ill-fated Apollo 13 mission, then clearly, as Gene Krantz of Mission Control said, failure is not an option. The kind of failure that has value is the kind that arises when one sets one's aspirations high, but in spite of one's best effort, the goal, at least temporarily, remains out of reach. This is the type of failure that athletes risk every time they compete. It is the type of failure that explorers risk when they cross new frontiers. It is the type of failure that artists and musicians risk when they attempt new forms of expression. It is the type of failure that entrepreneurs risk when they start a new venture. It is the type of failure that students risk when they stretch themselves by taking more and more difficult courses. And it is the type of failure that scientists risk when they try to advance their knowledge or find cures for society's ills. These types of failures can be extremely virtuous, provided that the aspirant has given her or his best effort to attain the goal. It is this type of failure of which President Theodore Roosevelt spoke when he said, quote, better for a man to fail, even to fail greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat, end quote. In other words, we can't move forward if we don't take calculated risks. We can neither win nor lose in life if we don't push ourselves beyond our comfort zone. In any event, failure need not be permanent. If we keep working at our goals, no matter how lofty, we can attain them. As American author and journalist Herbert Kaufman wrote, quote, failure is only postponed success as long as courage coaches ambition, end quote. Sorry, not end quote yet. Failure, I'm learning from my failure here. <laughs> the habit of persistence is the habit of victory, now end quote. Or, as inventor and businessman Charles Franklin Kettering noted, quote, an inventor fails 999 times, and if he succeeds once, he's in. He treats his failures simply as practice shots, end quote. If we are persistent and willing to learn from our failures, then indeed failure has virtue. Every successful scientist is particularly well acquainted with failure. Experiments rarely work as planned the first time. In fact, exper if experiments consistently work the first time, then chances are that no great breakthrough will come from them. The likelihood that experiments won't work the first time is what my assistant dean, Tom Williams, calls putting the re in research. The scientists who make the biggest impact on their field are not those whose experiments always work perfectly. They are those who are persistent, and learn from their mistakes. 
Although this is true of science, it is true of all aspects of life. In this context, Richard R. Grant wrote, the wisest person is not the one who has the fewest failures, but the one who turns failures to best account. It is instructive to think a little more deeply about how we define failure. If the definition of failure is simply not having reached one's original goal, then many of science's biggest discoveries could be classified as abject failures. The history of science abounds with, abounds with examples in which the original experiment did not work as planned, but in fact an even greater discovery ultimately resulted because the scientists involved were observant and curious about the cause of their failures. For example, Alexander Fleming discovered the antibiotic properties of penicillin after he noted that accidental contamination of a petri dish with mold resulted in the death of a staphylococcus culture that the dish contained. Scotchgard, a 3M product used to protect fabric, furniture, and carpets from stains, was discovered accidentally in 1953 by Patsy Sherman. She was investigating the compound in the hopes of using it as a rubber material that wouldn't deteriorate when in contact with aircraft fuel. However, she spilled some of this compound onto her tennis shoe and could not wash it out. This led to the de development of the compound as a protectant against spills. Incidentally, given how clumsy I can be around the house, I believe this compound has saved my marriage on numerous occasions. <laughs> the drug Viagra was originally investigated as a treatment for hypertension and angina pectoris. It was only during clinical trials testing its efficacy and treating these conditions that its potential for its current most popular use arose. <laughs> this example clearly demonstrates the importance of rigor in scientific testing. <laughs> Finally, I present the example that I teach to students in my Principles of Geochemistry class. Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, two scientists at Bell Labs in Princeton, New Jersey, accidentally discovered cosmic microwave background radiation, an observation that was critical in substantiating the so-called Big Bang Theory. That is the theory of the origin of the universe, not the popular CBS sitcom. By the way, don't you just love the characters on the Big Bang Theory? That show is especially entertaining to those of us who have departments of physics in our portfolios. But I digress. Penzias and Wilson initially thought that the radiation they discovered was thermal noise in the antenna that they had pointed to the stars for an entirely different purpose. In fact, at one point they thought the signal was a result of a white dielectric material deposited on their antenna by a flock of pigeons. It turns out that many years before Penzias and Wilson had conducted their experiments, the existence of this background radiation had been predicted by the theoretical physicists who developed the Big Bang Theory. Penzias and Wilson were completely unaware of the earlier theoretical predictions when they made their measurements, and so their serendipitous discovery became a powerful confirmation of this theory of the origin and expansion of the universe. It is, obviously, it is obvious from these and a myriad of other examples that failure can indeed be turned to good account. So my hope for you graduates is that you will set your goals high, carefully prepare yourself, and work hard to achieve those goals. Don't expect failure, but if it comes, be observant, learn from it, persevere, and keep moving ahead. Be ready to recognize value in results that are different from what you expected. For this is what successful people do. This is what leaders do. This is what I and all my faculty and staff colleagues expect of you, and this is what the world needs of you. In conclusion, I would like to leave you with some words from the Poet Laureate of New Jersey, Bruce Springsteen. Now I've been out in the desert just doing my time, searching through the dust, looking for a sign. If there's a light up ahead, well, brother, I don't know. But I got this fever burning in my soul. So let's take the good times as they go 
and I'll meet you further on up the road. Further on up the road, further on up the road. Further on up the road, further on up the road. One sunny morning will rise, I know, and I'll meet you further on up the road. So set your sights, your sights high, keep persevering, and I look forward to meeting you all further on up the road. Congratulations again and good luck. Scott, if you would please uh, come back to the podium. Have a small gift for you. Thank you, again. Thank you. And let's give Scott another round of applause for that outstanding uh, commencement address. Thank you very much. I would now like to invite uh, Provost and Executive Vice President for the University of Idaho, Doug Baker, to the podium. Thank you, President Nellis. In continuing to acknowledge excellence at our university, we recognize the undergraduate students who are graduating with special honors today. Will the students please stand as I call your honor designation and remain standing while we applaud your achievements. First, students graduating with the cum laude distinction. This is the bronze honor cord. Will those students please rise? These students are in the top 10% of their class. Next, the students graduating with the magna cum laude distinction. This is a great distinction with a silver honor cord and they are graduating in the top 6% of their class. And finally, the summa cum laude students, these are students with the highest distinction, the gold honors cord, and they graduate in the top 3% of their class. Now our students uh, belong to a variety of honorary societies, and I would like the students uh, who are members of the honorary so societies to be, please stand and be recognized. There they go. You've brought distinction to yourselves, to your university, through your high achievements as student scholars. We honor your hard work and commitment to learning, and we look to you for leadership and upholding high standards for yourselves and your peers. Thank you. President Nellis. A tradition of the University of Idaho is administering the oath of office for the commissions of the officer education program candidates at the same time as they earn their degrees. Captain Greg Eaton, U.S. Navy and Professor of Naval Science, will administer the oath of office for those to be commissioned in the armed forces of the United States. Program graduates, please rise. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your full name, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. So help me God. President Nellis, distinguished faculty and guests, family and friends, it is my honor to present to you the newest leaders of your United States Armed Forces.
Congratulations to our commissioned officers. I know you will serve your fellow citizens, your country, and your world well with the supreme aim of peace and harmony, both at home and abroad. We wish you Godspeed. We thank you for your sacrifice, courage, and commitment. Let's give them another round of applause. And now, Provost Baker will announce the granting of university degrees earned by our students. All right, we ready to graduate? All right. We're about to begin the granting of degrees to all candidates who've met the requirements for the bachelor's, master's, specialist, juris doctor, and doctoral degrees. These degrees have been completed through formal study at the University of Idaho. Degrees will be conferred on all candidates present and at these exercises, as well as upon all absentees who have been duly excused. Remember, some of these degrees awarded today might be dependent on successful completion of finals next week. <laughs> so go home and study after this. <laughs> will the candidates for the bachelor's degrees please stand? You know who you are. <laughs> President Nellis, these candidates are recommended by their respective faculties to be awarded the bachelor's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of Idaho, I hereby confer upon each of you the bachelor's degree earned with all its rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities in testimony where of you, you will receive the Diploma of the University of Idaho. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for Juris Doctor, Specialist, and Master's degrees please stand? Each of you has completed satisfactorily rigorous advanced studies in academic disciplines. President Nellis, these candidates are recommended by their respective faculties to receive Juris Doctorate, Specialist, or Master's degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of Idaho, I hereby confer upon each of you the Juris Doctor or Specialist Degree or Master's Degree earned with all its rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities in testimony whereof you, you will receive the Diploma of the University of Idaho. Congratulations! And you may be seated. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy or Doctor of Education please stand? President Nellis, these candidates are recommended by their respective faculty to receive Doctor of Philosophy or Doctor of Education degrees. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of the University of Idaho, I hereby confer upon each of you the degree of Doctor of Philosophy or Doctor of Education with all its rights, honors, privileges, and responsibilities. In testimony whereof you, you will receive the Diploma of the University of Idaho. Congratulations. Will the candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education please come forward? These will be followed by, as they get going, these will be followed by the Juris Doctor, Specialist, Master's, and then Bachelor's degrees. We ask that all candidates, after receiving their degrees, please stay for the rest of the ceremony in respect for the others here and their families. Students receiving the doctorate are given a doctoral hood. It is our tradition at commencement for the doctoral candidate to be hooded by his or her major professor.
Lynn Norris Baird is being hooded by Dean of Education Corey Mantle Bromley. The title of her dissertation is Colliding Scopes, Seeing Academic Library Leadership Through a Lens of Complexity. Students graduating with a doctoral degree will be greeted by Dean Nilsa Bosquet Perez. Malcolm Bond Burbank, Microbiology, Molecular Biology, and Biochemistry, is being hooded by his major professor, Ron Crawford. His dissertation title is Precipitation of Calcite, the Calcite by Indigen in Indigenous Microorganisms to Strengthen Soils. Sonali Garg, Gerg, uh, chemistry, is being hooded by her major professor, Janine M. Shreve. Her dissertation title is New, New Thermally Stable Materials, One Azole Substituted Cyclic perfluoro Perfluoroalkynes, Two Trifluoromethyl or Pentafluorosulfanol Substituted Poly 1, 2, 3 Triazoles, and three silver and copper derivatives of Fox 7. <laughs> Jung Sup Han, political science, is being hooded by Major Professor Don Crowley. His dissertation title is U.S. Foreign Policy Toward North Korea on Nuclear Program, U.S. Breakthrough Strategy in Negotiations. Hui Wen Huang, Education, is being hooded by Major Professor Jerry Tuckshire. Her dissertation title is Assessing the Community of Inquiry Model Through Group Collaboration Via Online and Face-to-Face -face Instruction. <laughs> Lori Loseth, Education, is being hooded by Major Professor Jerry Tuckshire. The dissertation title is The Efficacy of Peer-Assisted Tutoring in a Drop-In Mathematics and Science Learning Center for Community College Students. <laughs> Parul, Chemistry, is being hooded by Major Professor Thomas Bitterwolf. Dissertation title is one, synthesis and, pro pro and photolysis studies of cobalt analogs of Roussin's red salt esters. Two, functionalized mesoporous silica, MCM41, and their applications in environmental remediation of selenium, cadmium, and for zinc sensing by fluorescence. <laughs> Stephanie Smith. Environmental Science is being hooded by Ron Crawford. The dissertation title is Microbial Selenium Cycling and Investigations of Extreme Microorganisms. <laughs> Mariana Such, Entomology, is being hooded by Major Professor Mark Schwarzlander. Dissertation title is Landscape Genetics Hybridization and Rapid Evolution in the Biological Control Agent Longitarsis Jacobiae. <laughs> Bonnie Mary Warren Education is being hooded by Major Professor Karen Guilfoyle. Dissertation title is What Adolescent Students Could and Could Not Verbalize About Their Personal Reading Interests. A qualitative inquiry with a Vygotskian interpretation. James Wynne Education is being hooded by Associate Dean Kathy Browder. Dissertation title is All Kinds of Minds, a Phenomenological Study of Adult Learners Living with Learning Disabilities.
Students graduating with a Juris Doctor degree will be greeted by Dean Don Burnett. Brett Raymond Cahoon, degree Juris Doctor. Will the candidates for the specialist masters as well as bachelor degrees please come forward? <laughs> Students graduating with a specialist or master's degree will be greeted by Dean Bosque Perez. Annabelle Malmquist, Education Specialist, Adult and Organizational Learning. Brandon James Aldecoa. Electrical Engineering. <laughs> Linda Jean Anderson, Educational Leadership. <laughs> Jared Bowder, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Christina Rachel Brewer, Geography. <laughs> Timothy James Caldwell, Fishery Resources. Kimberly Ann Castellan, Applied Economics, Ag Econ Emphasis. <laughs> Jessica Elaine Cromer, Adult and Organizational Learning and Leadership. <laughs> Andrew Paul Daggett, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Darby Renee Duclos, Mathematics. Prashant Darveshi, Civil Engineering. Anthony Joseph Ferlisi, Natural Resources. Julie Ann Finzel, Rangeland Ecology and Management. Adam Mark Franklin, Civil Engineering. Andrew Jason Gerke, Civil Engineering. <laughs> Jeffrey Kent Gillen, Env Environmental Science. <laughs> Brenda L. Hardin, Curriculum and Instruction. <laughs> Virginia Jane Harris, Rangeland Ecology and Management. <laughs> Jerry Lynn Hinberg, Public Administration. Scott Hurlbert, Accountancy. Aaron Colleen Jessup, Electrical Engineering. Robin John, Plant Science. Tara Janine Johnson, Fishery Resources. <laughs> Fang Xin Lin, Accountancy. <laughs> Sarah Emily Malloy, Natural Resources. <laughs> Serena Ann Montrell, Special Education. 
Karen A. Olson, Landscape Architecture. Sarah Elizabeth Peterson, Animal Science. Erin Evans Richards, Family and Consumer Sciences. Jeanette Schwartz, Curriculum and Instruction. Tiffany Lynn Scripter, Curriculum and Instruction. Xiao Jie Shen, Applied Economics. Gail Elizabeth Silkwood, Agricultural Education. Susan Eileen Skovdal, Curriculum and Instruction. Nash Steven Stanton, Psychology. Heather Lynn Stark, Family and Consumer Sciences. M. Catherine Stefani, Music. Wesley Hopping Strubel, Jr., Curriculum and Instruction. Matthew George Waters, Mechanical Engineering. Casey Lee Williams, Educational Leadership. John Parley Wilson, Mechanical Engineering. Andrzej Jan Wojtowicz, Statistics. John D. Zabrowski, Curriculum and Instruction. Ji Kan Zhang, Mater Material Science and Engineering. <laughs> Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences will be greeted by Dean John Hamill. Susan G. Allen. Alex Bedell, Amanda Renee Betker, Michael Cantrell, Charlotte Chadwick, Corey May Eifert, Cum Laude, Joanna Marie England, Jennifer Loreen Gross. Ryan D. Hubertsy. Debrianne Michelle Johnson. Jordan Marie Kinchelo. Kendrick August Kneehans. Dustin Lee Krieger. Saira Lo Lopez, Mandy Lynn McCoy, Brian Lee Mortar, Shay Marie Nesbitt, Jessica Marie Novak, Caitlin Renee Pass. Andrew Wade Roten, Lindsay Jean Sutcliffe, Jason Toshio Takatori, Tiffany Rose Thornton, Magna Cum Laude, Tiffany Jo Van Buren. Jesse Lee Von Borstel, Heath Brian Wells, Cheyenne Joanne Williams, Alexandra Lee Witcher, Tira Jean Youngdell. 
Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Art and Architecture will be greeted by Dean Mark Ellison Hoverston. Karine Nicole Bisha. Hasya Adwa Bello. Kelsey Marie Blagden. Sylvia A. Kapal. Ashley Nicole Cochran. Claire Suzanne Echanova. Tyler Marshall Hatfield. Jillian Lee Keller. Andrew Stephen Knecht. Alex M. Kuzmenko. Christopher Lee Lavoy. Doron Oliver Myrie. Stephen R. Norman. Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Business and Economics will be greeted by Dean Jack Morris. Navar Andrew Aga. Brian Joseph Bialki. Elizabeth Ann Braun. Sandra Nicole Britton. Alfredo Castro Jr. Kristen Nicole Clovis. Jordan Lee Engel. Ryan Neil Gentry. Joshua Lee Hallett, magna cum laude. Creighton Todd Honus, magna cum laude. Michelle Marie Jameson. Nicholas John Jutlaw. Benjamin Michael Levine. Xi Lu. Ryan Douglas Matthews. Kristen Marie McGee. Eric Joseph Raymond Minkle. Kelsey Lee Moore. Whitney Olivia Nail. Andrew Thomas Pape. Rachel Catherine Poffenberger. Brandon Joseph Rader. Brianna Michelle Robeson. Roxanne Lynn Stinger. Scott Michael Taylor. Brianna Lynn Thompson, magna cum laude. Ryan Michael Thompson. Jacqueline K. Upmore. Brett Neil Watterson. Dennis Talbert Wilson. Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Education will be greeted by Dean Corinne Mantle Bromley. Brandon Marshall Arts. 
Daniel J. Bell. Christopher Scott Bideman, Bideman. Benjamin Jerome Birch. Elizabeth Ann Bogar. Robert Anthony Duran. Tirza Margaret Dibble. Adam Richard Dobler. Stephen Elizalde. Jeanette Escamilla. Lucas James Fitzpatrick. Brianna Lee Fonesbeck. Ashley Jennifer Goebel, magna cum laude. Jacob Jean Hill. Brian Matthew Huffman. Kerry Jo Kushlan. Young Ho Lee. Jack Jake Jackson LaFors. Kate Louise Lentz. Chelsea Louise Lillard. Joshua F. Miller. Ryan Strand Norland. Maureen Janice O'Connell. Judy K. Pankopf. Casey C. Ryan. Lisa Yvonne Sechrist. Robert Jerome Seltzler. Monica Cherie Sherwood. Krista Lynn Spinarski. Michael John Staffis. Jennifer Mary Stubers. Jamie. Jamie Lee Ward. Heather Elizabeth Wells. Kayla Denise Williams, cum laude. Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Engineering will be greeted by Dean Donald Blacketer. Majid Mohammed Alatik. Shelley Odessa Best. Hunter James Block. Casey Michelle Bowen. Anna Kathleen Camery. Samantha Helene Clyde. Michael James Cook. Jared Brock Denton. Yusif Saleh El Mansouri. David Wayne Eld. Tyler Scott Flowers. Colin Kelly Gordon. Samantha Janae Gould. Lewis Hamberlin. Vincent Lee Hell. Timothy John Hildebrandt. Sunan Huang, cum laude. 
Wenlong Huang. Travis Bradley Hunter. Brian Ross Hyde. Jared R. Johnson. Kevin Edward Lewis. Zachary Tyler Lutens. Aldo Lopez. Laurel Ruth McGarry, summa cum laude. Andrew D. Miller. Tamara Lynn Crowther Minor. Jai Hong Park. Aaron Robert Phillips. Matt D. Ricks. Joshua David Rubini. Sean Christopher Shostead. Stephen Richard Smythe. Michael George Sotolongo. Michael Dallas Stinger. Jason Warner Sturpey. Maria Morgan Tribblehorn, cum laude. Josh W. Ulrich. Jacob Dean Wood. Samuel Harrison Wass. Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Letters, Arts, and Social Sciences will be greeted by Dean Catherine Aiken. Michaela Adams. Alex M. Anderson. David Ricardo Anzaldo. Amy Teresa Bakken. Catherine M. Benoit. Jeffrey Richard Burnson. Caitlin Sean Brower. Seth T. Cameron. Michael Scott Carpenter. James Chambers. Nicole Renee Korn. Justin Cade Cornett. David Couch. Mary Lynn Kalishaw. Joseph Taylor Dahlquist. Andrew Wayne Dennis. Taylor DeWater. Elizabeth May Dwight. Paige Ann Erickson. Deborah Ann Ferguson. Jesse Elmer Ford. Troy Donald Gartner. James Deaton Greenewalt Jr. Chad Gamble. Sarah Christine Hansen. 
Daniel Ray Hardy, Jr. Elizabeth Marie Harpold. Nathan Yoon Seok Harsh. <laughs> Samantha Margaret Sue Haynes. Corbin Oliver Hochstad. Caitlin Marie Holmes. Jessalyn Rose Hopkin. Michael Richard Hausen. Joseph M. Kessel. Jamie Alyssa Corner. Casey Dean Crable. Nicola Lee Ann Cumler. Dillithan Timothy Langfit. Yojin Lee. Norma Librado. Michael Lyle Leitner. Matthew Thomas Ligman. David Patrick Loseth. Sarah Jane Lawspeak. Candace Marie Lowe. Kimberly Ann McCabin. Gloria Jean Mahoney. Jeffrey Chad Mann. Sarah Louise Martinez. Anne Marie, Annie Marie McCloskey. Casey Lee McDaniel. Holly Lynn Blanchett. Lindsay Diane Merrill. Cynthia A. Micah. Kyle Richard William Miller. Nicholas Norman Miller. Kristen Elise Nagel. Scott Packard Nelson. Heather Ann Newman. Robert John Nielsen. Mitchell James Odom. Annalise Marie Oatkin. Bryce o Nolan Odemeyer. Alexis Marie Olson. Holly E. Olson. David Saul Otterstrom. Alicia Abram Puckett. Brian Miles Reeder. Connor Thomas Richards. Eric James Rollman. Lindsay Marie Rupel. Jessica Lee Sampson. Carmen Elise Sangster. Heather Lou Sargent. 
Heather Christine Schumacher. Rebecca Ann Schwartz. <laughs> Paul Nealon Seneschal. Haley Christine Savalstad. Chelsea Angelina Silva. Sean Brian Smith. Teresa Lynette Smith. Vance Patrick Spencer. Patrick John Stellman. Crystal Sarah Strait. Diane Elizabeth Strunk. Brittany Tuttle. Nicholas Warren Talk. Seth Wesley Turnland. Brett J. Warming, cum laude. Michael Anthony Weber. Derek Ellis Wheating. Linda Elizabeth Wells. Nicole Wilfong. Kimberly Marie Williams. Eleanor Rose Wren. Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Natural Resources will be greeted by Dean Kurt Pregitzer. Christopher Arnold Anderson. Brian Jeffrey Brooks. Aaron Parker Buckley. William D. Burks. David Don Crossley. Cody Dix, magna cum laude. Kelly Ryan Ferens. Jennifer Lynn Geddert. William Tyler Gross. Kenneth Wesley Hargrove. Brandon Michael Higgins. Zachary R. Hewling. Isaac Christopher Hull. Levi Nicholas Hunt. Kevin Kent Kincaid. Amber J. Lankford, magna cum laude. Ashley M. Lipscomb. Daniel Joseph Madel. Benjamin Joseph Meisterich. Stefan Patrick Momont. Kristen Marie Pilcher. Caitlin Alina Pond. Rosanna Reith. Stephen Sinclair Ross. Rishi Singh. Nisha Singh.
Kyle Christopher Cedarholm Smith. Eric Lawrence Sutton. Julie Marie Tibbetts. Jack David Torsdahl. James Kelly Woodruff. Students graduating with a bachelor's degree in the College of Science will be greeted by Dean Scott A. Wood. Alex Gregory Boyer. Andrew Thomas Brashears. Benjamin Ryan Budge. James Charles Bush. Reva Azaref Cork. Rebecca Lynn Evans. Matthew David Farnsworth. Candace Leah Farrell. Catherine Ann Fox. Patrick Ryan Goki. Cherry Lee Kersey. Cameron Kent Kanigi. Kyle Joseph Legal. Adeline Lustig. Rachel Ann Molsey. Tamiko Christine Takishta. Lucas Tate. So, a big moment here now. May I have all of our graduates please stand. The moment you've all been waiting for. Time to move your tassels from the right to the left. Are you ready? Go Vandals! You may be seated. Now I wish to acknowledge, thank, and commend the faculty. You are the source of guidance and knowledge for our students. You set the curricula, advise, teach, and mentor our students. You conduct research and develop creative and performing arts and technologies which are shared in their classrooms, labs, clinics, studios, fields, and landscapes throughout the state and around the world. Your intellect, your commitment, training, experience, and wisdom is the core asset of the University of Idaho. Will the faculty of the University of Idaho please stand and be recognized? Let's give them a round of applause. You may be seated. It's been a privilege and joy this year to work with our very talented and committed student leaders. I would like to have them stand. First of all, Laura Keyes, president of the Student Bar Association. Let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Justin Horn, president of the Graduate and Professional Student Association. Justin. 
and Stephen Parrott, President of the Associated Students of the University of Idaho. Stephen. Thanks to each of you for your commitment to your fellow students. Appreciate it. And thank you for all the work that you do on behalf of all of our students in the university community, not only here at the university, but across our state. Founded in 1898, the University of Idaho Alumni Association is nearly as old as our institution. And we're pleased to have with us today Steve Johnson, director of the Alumni Association. Steve, would you please stand once again? I would like to ask all of our University of Idaho alumni in the audience and on the platform to rise and welcome the newest members of the University of Idaho alumni. You are joining an elite and loyal group of individuals number, numbering over 100,000. Welcome. Please be seated. Before we conclude our commencement today, I would like to take a moment again to thank our wind ensemble, the university's wind ensemble. Let's give them another round of applause. Appreciate it, thank you. And with an event like this, there are so many others who worked, have worked for several months to make this event special. My thanks to the University Commencement Committee, University Support Services. You know, we had a holiday concert in this facility last night. It didn't get over till 10.30, a totally different setup. People worked through the night to make sure this was set just right for today. Our Kibbe Activity Center staff, University Communications and Marketing, our Registrar's Office, our Alumni Office, the Development Office, the President's Office, Bruce Mann, our voice from above, all the colleges and their faculty, staff of the University of Idaho. Again, a very special thank you as well to our commencement readers, Dr. Sarah Nelson and Dr. Gary Williams. Let's give them a round of applause as well. Thank you. And once again, graduates, congratulations. Please join your family and friends at the reception just immediately following behind this curtain here. Please wait until the stage party has exited the seating area before you begin to recess. Before we can co finally conclude, we invite everyone to rise for the singing of the alma mater. The words are located in your program. Please join our vocalist, Kyle Rus Ruspowski, in the alma mater. And congratulations again to our graduates.
concludes the 116th commencement ceremony of the 